Hello. 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. It's a welcome to another edition from above. But he got me the booty like cross. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh damn. <laughs> yes, welcome to another edition from Above the Shades. Today, we're going to be talking about a particular story that's going on in the internet land right now. And I want to say to you guys, if you're enjoying these little videos that I've been making, you guys have showed incredible. So I really do have to extend my appreciation to you guys for clicking on that video. And finding out what type of video it is and showing so much love you guys commented you guys liked the video I really appreciate that but here we are once again with the funny business yeah that 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 didn't go over right <laughs> we're gonna be talking about a particular story that's going on right now that is very no near and dear to my heart it affects me personally right now. I also have a YouTube career that I need to protect and I wouldn't like to know that this would happen to me in the future because I would be pissed from above the shades. Today we're talking about sponsorships on YouTube, okay? So two of my favorite YouTubers has been attacked in the last week and that is It's a Gundam and Keemstar. People do stuff in their past. So I do hold them accountable. I don't bring it up 10 years later to be like, oh, but you did this unless they're continuous with the same behavior. If they have changed, they have changed. You gotta give people second chances in life. Oh, H3A3, another YouTuber that I watch, I watch his podcast, Mr. Ethan himself. Okay, he has attacked Keemstar with a video called Content New. In that video, he was talking about how Keemstar is responsible for Etika's. You must be the most scummiest person on earth to blame somebody else for somebody else's suicide. Mind you, in that video, Ethan made a lot of valuable points. I don't like when people do that because I wouldn't like anybody to do that to me. I have said shit, done shit in the past that if you go back and look at those things, you probably said there's no way he's like this now. I get it, man. You and somebody having a beef, you feel like you need to, that's a bitch move, Ethan. That was a bitch move. That's something that girls do, man. Girls do that to hit you below the belt. The thing that I really wanna talk about is the sponsorship situation. It's a Gundam, right? That's my guy. He's a guy that does satire, making fun of people that are in the news, especially the Twitch community. He just uses that content, but he puts his own spin on it. It's satire, okay? Just like this video right here is satire. My situation in this whole thing, where I'm looking at it from my corner, from above the shades, is that you cannot come after YouTube sponsors, man. This is their living you're talking about, especially when it comes on to somebody like It's a Gundam that his content is never monetized because YouTube does not like his content. So he gets a little sponsor on the side. He also lost a sponsorship that he was setting up with a big gaming company, AAA gaming company. He lost that because of what Pokimane said about the video he made on her. Okay, now Pokimane, I have a message. I have a message for you. I know you'll probably never see this video. And as I said in my last video, come for me. I will t take this hoodie off. I don't care. As I look at you from above these shades, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. That was so wrong of her to go after this guy's sponsor. And she might, she, 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 what is this? What is this? On, on, on. You know what? Let me show you what this girl did. She can't believe anyone would sponsor these shenanigans. Like what? And I will say for this company to sponsor a video that's literally 20 minutes of talking shit to me. You will never see Dude, your website's so ass, it not even load. 
But if you ever reach out to me, if I ever see you in my inbox, on site. On site. N like, no company should do that just about ever. Oh, uh, is this a video where some random dude behind a VR machine calls a girl a thought for 20 minutes? Really want to put my logo on that one! Ha ha ha! I'm streaming seven years. That's what she did. The guy has lost one of his biggest sponsors. I don't think Ridge Wallet has withdrawn their sponsorship, but you know the simps are out there of Pokemon are petitioning. Now, when it came on to Keemstar, this is what H3H3, Mr. Heathen himself, had to say about it. <sighs> That clip with Tony was intense. I mean, the balls to tell this guy to fuck off. Keemstar has got a bottle of G Fuel somewhere in his house that's actually a horcrux. How is G Fuel still sponsored this guy, by the way? G Fuel brought to you by false pedophilia accusations. God, chug it, G Fuel. Get it now at gfuel.com. All right, so now that you've watched that clip, you can see where this is a problem. Keep the YouTube beef to YouTube beef, man. Don't go after people's income. I don't believe in that stuff. I don't believe in it. I don't believe that this is this is something that could hurt, could bring on adpocalypse as they call it, 2.0 or 3.0 at this point. YouTube don't even want to really monetize our content anymore as content creators. They don't even really want to do it. All they want to concentrate on is these politics videos. They get monetized. These late night show videos, the celebrities, that's what they want to concentrate on. They don't want to have to be paying the people who built YouTube for that matter. You, you really think YouTube want to be paying us that are doing regular shit? They don't want to be paying us because they know probably we're not bringing in the type of views that they want. And plus, you know, ad, people don't want to put their ads on stuff that are considered controversial and not politically correct due to the fact that ethan made this video since then g fuel has dropped keemstar okay i don't care what he said talking about he walked away because he didn't want to cause g fuel any trouble who walks away from money like that nobody does i'm not saying people has never ever well that's what i just said but forget that <laughs> but in this situation there was no need for Keemstar to walk away because he doesn't want to cause the... They don't... In his words, he said, he doesn't want to cause them grief. You're kind of putting yourself in a position to be guilty. Even though you put, a, put out a video defending yourself about you not being guilty of this and against the situation. I don't, nobody is responsible for anybody's suicide. But when it comes on to the sponsorship thing of him going after your sponsor said they shouldn't be sponsoring you or whatever, or however shady he said it, he said it and said, oh, this and that and whatever, and all the excuses that he's putting out there of why he did or say what it did. You were implying, Mr. Ethan, you were implying that G Fuel was representing a guy who, who basically helped, um, is responsible for somebody else's suicide that's how you put it out there you were implying in that video i watched that entire video stop it don't try to backpedal now after you did you put you put so many things in that video out of context so many things in that video i lost so much respect for this dude he was a champion of the youtube community and he really 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 disappointed me <laughs> because he was a, a a pillar in the youtube community because he won that case against fair use man that was a monumental moment in the history of youtube and you completely ruined it now because now everybody kind of hates you <laughs> when it comes on to this situation it can have a ripple effect that we cannot recover from we cannot as a youtube community going after each other's sponsors. I don't have any sponsors yet. I'm hopefully I can have some in the future, but I wouldn't like to know that me and somebody's having a beef and he decides to go after my sponsors and saying my sponsor shouldn't be representing me. Who the fuck are you to decide that? Any of y'all out there that are petitioning for people to lose their sponsors. Who the fuck are you to decide that? That's the company's decision. If they want to support support me and what I do and for me to promote them on my content it's my content if they make a conscious decision before what do you think they're gonna change now but if they get bombarded 
and feel pressured into dropping a particular content creator, they will. Stop doing that, man. That's just pure hatred. No matter how you look at it, it's just pure hatred that doesn't have to happen. Okay? So you Pokemans and Heathens of the world, keep it to yourself, man. Ain't nobody want that kind of energy out here. Ain't nobody want that kind of energy out here. So that is my story for today from Above the Shades. I, I, I was a little pissed off by what Ethan did. I was a little pissed off. How do these people make millions of dollars like this? How? Pokemon ain't even, she ain't even that pretty, bro. She ain't even that pretty, bruh. If I should use the real system, the real alpha male system to judge her, the Patrice O'Neill standard of judging women and rating them, she wouldn't even crack 15, in my opinion. Let me use the simp scale, okay? The 1 to 10 scale, she still wouldn't crack a 5 for me. I'm just saying, you looking at me, I'm a handsome dude. And I'm not even that great. I'm probably on any woman's scale, I'm probably a 5 too. I don't give a shit. Because your boy here knows that he's the prize. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So we out here chilling, man. We out here chilling. So shout out to y'all, man, for supporting the last video as always. And I want you guys to always keep your shades up. And whenever you see a hater, you look at them from above the shades.